forward and then back. Forward and back. Good afternoon. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Ford and Back and I'm an electric. I'm not electric. I'm eccentric, eclectic. Here we go, off again. Off again on a wheel, rolling around. And in, in the day, it's really nice weather. Check this out. Thanks for coming to my channel again, all of you. Some of you come back all the time and always chat, so cheers. Double thumbs up for you. I'm using the Insta 361 X2 camera to film all this on a big pole and it's invisible. I'm uh, into the city. I've got to go to the valley. It's like the hood. I'm, uh, it's Brisbane's hood. So I've got to get right into the city. I've got a sore knee. I'm going to take it easy. I've got my Alpine Stars boots on. TSG Pass helmet. I've got some motorbike riding jeans on. And they're quite thick. They've got a good layer. These are called uh, Dragon jeans. Really good name in the bike riding world. D-R-A-G-G-I-N. Dragon stylish jeans, but you've got a good like seven second rating for a slide on the ground. Don't know who went through that test, you know. Oh, only 6.5 seconds go again. You know what? I've been, I've had a wheel now for about a year. I had the choice today to get on the motorbike or. My wife was going to drop me in. You know, I could use the car myself. I'm a big boy. I, I know how to drive. And then I said, no, I, I want to use my wheel. I mean, partly I can't quite fully bend my wheel. Uh, no, I can't quite fully bend my knee. So, you know, sitting on a sports bike's a little bit tough. And I didn't want to, all this traffic, I'm heading right into the hood. So there's a chance we might get robbed, mugged, So windy, that's the other thing about today, it's super windy, super. Yeah, so my knee's still a bit sore and um, I can't quite bend it as much. Don't know, it was, I definitely did something and I haven't gone and got it checked out. So I'm wearing my Liart Z frame knee brace. They're a little bit more expensive than knee guards but they give you a little bit more protection against twist injuries. And a twist injury is exactly what I had when I wasn't wearing them for that one time. It's always the way. So, you know, I guess even when I mount the wheel, it's just, I'm putting strength, you know, on that knee and it's a little bit stiffer. So I've got to take a little bit more time to just slow things down and make sure I'm not pushing it too far because I'm off on a long commute. It's windy and I've got to come all the way back yet. So I haven't done a long ride since I hurt my knee. We'll give it a shot today. Might have to take it easy. But thanks for coming back to my channel. We'll try to get up to some mischief, see what happens along the way. And um, yeah, I'll put some music on, try to cut some footage together. Cool, thanks for watching. Ch 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 chat soon. Yeah, when it's really windy, it's going to affect your battery on anything electric. And your electric wheel is the same. You're a bulky sail, basically. The wind's pushing against you and that's causing some force against your wheel. And that's going to put a bit more pressure on the battery. You're not gonna get as far. You're not gonna be able to roll as fast. 
and you, you might feel a little bit more tilt back in places that you normally didn't get it so you know don't be too worried if that's what all that's happening and it's windy you get to know your wheel and then you get to know if you think it's some something bigger than that you know definitely pull up and stop but just ride a little bit slower you know hold yourself back a little bit don't try to push your wheel to do all that work you know, just consider that the wind is actually making the wheel work harder so yeah that's just something that's a little bit of information for you to take from this video and uh, decide if you wish to ride in, in a zephyr a zephyr Uh, anyway, good to be on the wheel, and this is a bit of exercise for my knee. It's a, a little bit sore, so you know, giving it a bit of a workout. It's a light um, impact workout, and it gets the blood flowing, it's the muscles moving. Plus, I had pain meds, so yeah, that's a win. Can't feel anything, you can't feel any of this. I don't even know if my legs on the pedal, it's all numb down there. Also, I got a pocket warmer like in my pocket. One day I just had this idea. On my motorbike, I've got heated grips and I can turn them up and I was surprised at how well they make you feel warm and comfortable in a miserable weather. So I started to think one day when I was commuting on my wheel, I thought I want the luxury of a heated grip. So I, I looked online and I saw a little USB pocket warmer. It's just USB-C and you can charge it up. And it also works as a power bank, which I've never used. I don't use it often. It sat there for a whole season, kind of uncharged. And I fired it up the other day and bang, it's straight on. So I'm gonna put that on 42 degrees Celsius. And then three different heat settings I've got on this one. You can just slip that in your pocket or anywhere you like. You like it nice and warm in certain place on your body, you can place one of these. You could hang two from your nipples. But that's, you know, one little convenient way to keep yourself a bit more comfortable. You're right out there in the elements on the wheel. And any little tips and tricks like that that you've got, hey, post them in the comments. I'll learn from you, you learn from me, and together we'll become this beautiful family of knowledge, like Wikipedia. But we can be called sick Sickopedia because we're sick as. These Outpoint Stars shoes are still rocking well. They've started to loosen up a little bit in the front. I've only worn them, this is the second time. And the grip's outstanding on the honeycomb pedals. I do have some good toe support. They're not a steel toe boot or they're not fully reinforced. I'd say if you wanted to go the next step up in the boots, there's another, another model which is JP. I'll put pictures up and proper information. Now they're a full leather and I think a little bit more supported in the in the back. I don't know, I'm just, you know, I, these would take a bit of impact in the toe, I think. I can absolutely feel there's a shell, like an inner shell, but I can also flex that with my toes, just pressing it up. So it doesn't feel like it's the sturdiest reinforcement. It's not carbon fiber or anything steel or even a strong leather I'd imagine maybe. I'll see if I can find out what's going on there and, and see if I can add some text along the bottom. But as a casual commuter shoe, they're really good. Good for this. I've got to get into the hood and then walk the wheel around using the trolley handle. I'll just pick that up and push it around. If you've seen my videos, you see I do that often when I take this shopping. Yeah, okay, well I'll turn this off and I'll probably turn this off and we'll turn it back on when we get into the city. Thanks again for watching. So I'm just getting into the city, into the hood. Try to do it safely without no drive-bys. Got uh, school holidays so there's going to be a lot of a lot of people just floating around that probably aren't used to scooters, probably don't have helmets on. Lots of kids just sort of running in and about around things. So we're gonna to try to commute safe as possible. Yeah, nice day though, look at this, beautiful. 
but yeah, it didn't take me too long. I've lost a bar of battery and that's not normal. So we've got temperature bringing that down today. It's cold and then we've got the wind. You know, that's gonna give me a different readout. I guess I probably haven't ridden for a while in the winter and I'm not really sure what range I'm after or getting, but I haven't got to go. I haven't got to go. I don't have to go too much further. So I just came a little bit too far. I didn't need to come this far down the river, but had fun, got lost, and now I'm sort of getting deep into the heart of the hood. Fortitude Valley. And my knee's feeling it, so I just, you know, I need to watch it on these little bumps. It's surprising how just something like that can throw you off. Brr, there's like a cold change just come across the river here. Freezing. Makes me want to get my lean on and get get home. I can't have a hot chocolate. So anyway, I went I went to the hood, successfully, successfully traversed the hood in this video. All the way into um didn't really see Doughboy. Don't know anyone called Doughboy, but I do love bread. A nice crusty Vienna or a sourdough. I like to um like a crusty crusty roll rip the top off and put some soup in there and then eat that. Suck it all up in your guts. Suck some warm soup up in your guts. What's your favourite soup? Mm. I like talking shit soup. Alright, so that could be another video. There might be something else that happens and if it does, I will make sure that I talk about it. And if not, I'm going to say bye now. My knee hurts a bit because I jumped down those stairs a bit stupidly can't help myself that's what suspension wheels do they make you just have a bit more confidence a little bit of compensation for your actual skill level so let's keep healing I'll keep thinking about stuff to do for my videos and I'll keep reading learning about all the other wheels the electric unicycles reaching out to all you guys in the comments. Thanks for the growing channel. We're up to what, 458 last time I looked. Every single time I look, there's another one. We're getting there and still figuring out. Still figuring it all out, aren't we? Exactly how I want to roll and, and chat to you all on the way. So thanks again for your time. Thanks for giving me your attention. Enjoy yourself. Roll safely. Until next time, uh, I'll see you later. Bye for now. I put a time lapse on for the last little bit. I always enjoy a time lapse. It just gets the job done, doesn't it? Bye. Order.